Well, she was named the Dishy Delia after picking up the gong for the hottest TV chef. And if she were a food, Gizzy Erkin says she would be a hot, flavoursome curry because she's naughty, spicy and a little bit too saucy. So what's she cooking? What? A curry! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be doing a um, pork katsu curry and I'm mm. sure that we all kind of... Are you, are you familiar with the katsu curry? Yes, no, what is katsu? Well, katsu is it's actually breaded. The, the actual meat that you're going to be currying essentially is breaded. So, um, and then it's served with a really um, strong, well, not, not spicy strong, not but really flavoursome yeah. curry sauce, which Lovely. is just It's delicious. actually one of the curries that I like for that reason, because it's not too... Yeah. Arr. It's actually a Japanese one, so you can imagine. I mean, they're not big into their sort of chilies. Yeah. So I'm starting off, I'm just getting... Here's some seasoned flour. So we've got some salt and pepper in there. Dunking it in some egg. Just the yolks, or...? Um, no, 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 all just, of it. just the whole egg. And then, um, finally, into some breadcrumbs. Better put the... Uh, frying pan on and then we're just going to bung these into uh, some hot fat really not too hot not too cold olive oil butter what is that well because it's Asian I'd be going for ground nut because oh, okay. I think that that's sort of the least flavoursome olive oil actually has quite a lot of flavour but do you know what and ground nut's good because it's a healthy oil as well mm -hmm. so it's made from peanuts, but if you've got allergies it's no good for peanut people with peanut allergies yep. Now, these breadcrumbs, are these ones that you've whizzed up cleverly yourself? These are sort of semi-fresh semi -fresh ones. So, yeah. um, but in Japan, classically, they'd use panko. And uh, panko breadcrumbs are, they're kind of more like cornflakes. They're not. They're made from bread, but they're sort of shards of bread. And okay. they get really, really crisp. And you can find those in your um, Asian supermarkets. OK. But they panko. are amazing. They're really delicious. They add sort of just that extra, that, like, really crunchiness to mm. it. So, I'm going to go for two. Now, I d pork may sound like a weird choice for this as well, but actually, classically, because I mean, I think when we, when we think of, of katsu curry, we think of it as chicken. Chicken katsu, yeah. But actually, um, in Japan, that's basically what they do. And, and the katsu bit well, isn't always a curry. It's sometimes it's like a really sweet um, sauce that, that sort of with tamarind and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, it's almost been uh, anglicised a bit for us. Yeah. So, traditionally, they would always make it with pork? Um, Is that what you mean? Yeah, not always. I mean, you can see it in Japan in, in done with uh, prawns, king prawns and oh, stuff okay. like that as well. But yeah, most of the time you would see it with pork. If you so went to you... a proper Japanese restaurant, you'd be more, more likely to get it with pork. OK, great. Lovely. So, I'm just going to bung these in. Now, these just uh, need to shallow fry in a little bit of oil for um, about sort of five minutes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes. Turning them halfway Turning through. Turning them halfway through, but we'll we'll see that all happen. Now the sauce. This is the easy bit. Now this is sort of quite a revelation to people. Um, we're going to pop in some. Um... Oh, oh no. God! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Tick, uh -oh. Here we tick, go. Tick tick tick. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't sound so hot. Here we go. Let me try another one. There we go, I'll swap that round. Oh, it's, I think it's, it's working. Gone. It's yeah, working. Okay, awesome. So, <laughs> we've got... <laughs> we've got some onions. So we're making, like, a, a classic... Actually, it's odd, because I'm going to be putting some um, some carrot in here. We're just making a classic sort of uh, mirepoix base, which is a bit French, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but what this does is well, we're going to cook these down for a good five minutes, and that will just add loads of sweetness mm -hmm. to the just dish. Just carrots and onions. Um, and we're going to put some garlic, some oh. whole uh, cloves of garlic. Because... I mean, generally, when you think of a katsu curry, it's, it's, a, it's a curry sauce yeah. rather than with bit with chunks and stuff like that. But actually, when uh, when I've had them in proper Japanese restaurants, you can get you can serve it's it with a bit the more chunks chunking. in. Yeah, mm, nice. That's totally I like normal. a bit of chunks. So you basically mm -hmm. you, fry it on. you fry that off for about uh, sort of five ten minutes or mm -hmm. until the, it starts to sweat down, and it eventually turns into something like this, which has got a little bit of colour on. Everything's really softened, and to that we're going to add. Some flour. Yep. We're going to add a tablespoon of curry powder. And just a mild one is totally fine. Then we're just going to give that a stir. And then almost like we're making a roux with chunks in, we're going to stir in some chicken stock, just really slowly. And that will just start to thicken and it will turn into a really lovely sauce. Mm. Then it's quite simple, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, and then literally it's just about putting your aromatics into it. So we've got a bay leaf. There we go. <laughs> a bay leaf. We've got some honey. Yeah. And uh, just go for a runny honey. Simple one. That's just going to add some sweetness. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some soy sauce, which kind of brings the sort of Asian thing. And I go for a Japanese soy, a bit like kikkaman would be great. OK. Kikkaman. Yeah, it's like mm. your classic Japanese sauce. And then you let that bubble away for about 20 minutes. 
and you end up with this, which is and a it goes really all nice, thick, like that. thick sauce. So, Lovely. As I was so saying, no, it's so easy, so 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 easy. So then, at this stage, you might want to season it. So what we're going to do is we're going to season it with some salt, mm -hmm. some pepper, and then some garam masala, which is actually an Indian spice. Now this isn't classic, but this is kind of a twist that I've put on it, which kind of just adds a little bit more depth yeah. to it. You'll see what I mean when you get to try it. Mm -hmm. So. As I said, you could serve this really um, like this, chunky, yeah. but what we're going to do is we're actually going to um, sim it. So, ah, could you blend it? Um, yeah. Ooh, but then you get those big you garlic could, Yeah, it would, it would be really no, thick if I you blended it. That was a no, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> that was a polite no. That was no, a really polite no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I'm just going to pour that through and um, you'll see that that gets... I mean, I want you to try, try this in a sec. So you get the flavour of that all that garlic. Totally. You don't actually chum, don't bite it. into it. That's it. And you'll, you'll see that it becomes really, really oh, flavoursome. And also, when, you, when you're sieving it through, you can really mm. squash all those flavours together and it will come out. But it's really, really a delicious sauce. And, and this, you don't just have to do... I mean, you can obviously do it with chicken if you yeah. wanted to. You could... Um, yeah, you're going to be doing my fork for me. Thank you. Oh, it's still. <laughs> We're OK. Oh, that well, oh, that's perfect. perfect. Oh, look at, look at you. that. Um, so, yeah. Then uh, you could do it with um, king prawns as well. That sounds really yummy. Delicious. So once you've got this really basic delicious. technique down with the mm -hmm. sauce, it's the world is your lobster. Yeah, quite oyster. right. Lobster, oyster. Katsu. So, <laughs> the world is your katsu. <laughs> so to place it up, it's literally a matter. I'm going for some sushi rice here. And this is just rice that's been boiled with a tiny bit of salt, some sugar, and a bit of rice wine vinegar. And, and it just you've added adds... that yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. but you don't have to. You can just use any old rice, to be honest, but this is just more authentic. I'm just going to pile that up. Well, well, should we let you plate it all up and then uh, have a look at the recap? Yeah, amazing. Here we go. Heat one tablespoon of oil and add one chopped onion and four garlic cloves. Cook for two minutes, then add two chopped carrots and cook till softened. Stir in two tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of curry powder. Then slowly add 600 ml of chicken stock, stirring. Then add two teaspoons of honey, one tablespoon of soy sauce and a bay leaf and simmer for 20 minutes until the sauce has thickened. Add half a teaspoon of garam masala, then sieve the sauce. Dip pork tenderloin slices in seasoned flour, beaten egg and breadcrumbs. Heat 100 ml of oil and fry the pork until golden and cooked through, then drain on kitchen paper. That we're, looks absolutely we're, we're, we're lovely. We're so poised, I can't tell you. It this is my husband's. Beautiful. He always orders this, but chicken katsu curry yeah. is his favourite, so he's going to... But does it weird you out having the pork? No, no. not at all, but it may, I'm just excited that I'll be able to make this. Because you yeah. always think that those like Japanese curries or anything like that is just going to be really complicated with a zillion ingredients. But, but also, as you did, you said you'd added the garam masala as your own little twist. Yes, you can do that totally. anyway. I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely authentic. It's just about playing around and seeing what works well mm. for you, you know? Mm. You like that? Mm. And for somebody who's not massively into spice spice, mm. is that all right? No. Yeah, you can handle it. There's not an ounce it's of chili in there. It's not hot at all. It's just, like, really mm. beautiful. That's a really it's quite lovely, lovely oh, flavour. Thank you, Thank very you so much, much indeed. <laughs> well, if you want to put um, Gizzy's pork katsu curry, you'll find our recipe on the website, itv.com forward slash this morning, or if you're a Sky viewer, you can press the red button now. Uh, still to come, earlier we left three, this morning...